It's always a pleasure to have uh, such a high esteemed guest in the parliament. A parliament is a place where we have exchange of views and we had the Secretary General, His Excellency Isa here from the Muslim World League, uh, talking about the Meccan Charter uh, of the 30 different things they've done and particularly focusing on women's rights. Uh, I think in this day and age the world has become a village and therefore the interaction needs to happen so those misrepresentations, misconceptions can be removed. So it's good that he was here, he delivered his uh, part of the speech and then there was a frank uh, question and answer session as well and this is the way forward. Um, I think for me um, this meeting here at the Wilson Room at Port Cullis House, House of Commons, um, being able to listen to the lecture by um, Sheikh Issa who's the Secretary General of Muslim World League was very significant because I feel that um, in terms of the Saudis um, approach to now um, really engaging with the diaspora communities in Europe and elsewhere, you know, the Muslim diaspora communities, I think this is very significant, very important. And the fact that they've taken up two, two things which were very important to me, the fact that they took up climate change and uh, women's rights in Islam as uh, things that he particularly spoke about today, um, I think that was very, very significant. And I, I feel there's a sea change in terms of the way this, uh, the Saudi government and the Saudi um, institutions like the Muslim World League um, and the leadership that they're taking which is very significant very important I think uh, this uh, the statement by the Secretary General from the World Muslim League is uh, quite uh, quite interesting and it shows the new agenda that, uh, that the Muslim World League has taken on I would call it much more moderate approach of an inclusive agenda of bringing women into the limelight uh, and bringing some historical uh, contribution of the Muslim women uh, into the development of the Islamic civilization. So I commend it very well that uh, it is timely and I feel it is part of their new approach uh, not only to address the Muslim community but uh, addressing the world at large.